Pakatan Harapan has urged Putrajaya to maintain the current ceiling prices for chicken and eggs and subsidies for bottled cooking oil, describing the removal of these measures as half-baked and hasty. PH's Cost of Living Committee warned that the removal of the ceiling prices and subsidies from July 1st would further increase the inflation rate and burden the people. It also called for additional subsidies to be given to chicken farmers and traders according to the situation to ensure a constant supply of the products. The committee also said subsidies for gas cylinders and RON95 petrol must remain and agreed with the government's move not to raise water and electricity tariffs. It also called on PH's Presidential Council and Malaysians to launch large-scale protests nationwide over the government's failure to address the rising cost of living. Meanwhile, PH suggested that Putrajaya use its revenue from the one-off prosperity tax to help the people, while postponing mega-projects like the Mass Rapid Transit 3 Circle Line, the East Coast Rail Link and the Tundraza Exchange. It also called Ismail to downsize his cabinet or cut the minister's allowances, as well as do away with the special envoys to the Middle East, China, East Asia and South Asia.